the next session we have is a sponsor session by VM. Uh, the speaker is Suja Mirja. He is head of pre-sales, uh, VM India and uh, SAC. So please welcome Suja Miz Mirza. Can I see a thumbs up? Okay, I'm audible to few. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic. I'm not too used to delivering presentations in this fashion, and that's why probably a quick check is uh, a good idea. And it's nice to start five minutes earlier as well. Back in Delhi, we're not very used to starting early or barely on time sometimes. Okay, so in about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, why and what is Veeam doing and why are we the, the number one player for protecting your hybrid workloads, uh, be it in the data center or uh, in the cloud as well. I'm going to take you through a few pointers and what are those things which we are doing right and why are customers really accepting our technology and our approach uh, in in an open data center if I may, you know, be it your on-prem or your data centers and workloads in the cloud. Uh, in the age of uh, e-commerce and digital, I think hyper growth of data is not something new. It's not new to, to, you know, we don't have to really spend time, but these things are coming in all shapes and sizes and colors. You know, you have uh, structured data and the ones which are really making our lives difficult is the unstructured or the semi-structured data. You don't really know how to get your arms around it and it gets really tough to start managing it. The bigger problems, uh, you know, which have already hit us or are about to hit us is that the user is creating or, or their, even their children are creating so much of data and if it is stored on a company device, then it becomes the company's uh, obligation to really protect and manage that data as well. And therefore, there is so much of it and it is lying everywhere. It's not only the hyper growth, but it is the hyper sprawl. It's within the data centers and outside be it your SaaS uh, consumption models, the private cloud or the public cloud, you would find these data islands uh, existing everywhere. It becomes even more tougher to really go and manage this uh, beast called, called uh, data. While data was growing at a very crazy rate and it uh, continues to grow exponentially, there are certain trends the way people or the IT industry had been provisioning workloads. We saw uh, we saw a parallel uh, evolution on the on the way we are we were hosting these workloads. We went from physical to virtual, and then we said we don't want to be busy running IT. We just want to consume it. It should come to us as a service, and therefore we'll offload a bit of it to our cloud partners. And then over time, what people realize that it'll be really nice if we could just consume these services which were cloud native. And there are so many of uh, of uh, you know so many partners out there who were born in the cloud and are really delivering a lot of values value to organization like yours and and therefore it was very very important for organization like ours to understand these trends evolve and adapt these uh, adopt these trends and and deliver value so uh, veeam had uh, classically had been ahead of the curve we were born in the era of virtualization and cloud we understood these trends, we understood the growth of data and the hyper growth of, of data and workloads in an organization. Our customers embraced it and uh, I think uh, that has worked pretty well for us. In the last 12 years, uh, we have about 300,000 customers worldwide, adding about 4,000 customers every month, uh, you know, using Veeam, uh, Veeam technology. A net promoter score of 73 where some of our competitors are in the in the tens you know it's ranges from minus 100 to plus 100 we are way ahead of the of the competitors in that space so that means we're not only making good technology we are putting it to some good work where people are realizing benefits from veeam and we'll see how in the couple of slides ahead we'll see how we how we do that 12 years of innovation, uh, we started in 2006 and uh, it's been a fantastic story thanks to organizations like yours and partners who took our technology to business organizations and, and that led to, uh, to, to where Veeam is today. So backing up, uh, our inception was that we were protecting virtual workloads in VMware, 
moved on to become a company which was protecting virtual and physical workloads but protecting and and data protection the essence of protection is to be able to bring back those workloads back into production and allow you to quickly spring back into business and that's where veeam has been delivering the highest availability for our uh, customers and their workloads so, so e evolving into the number one availability player uh, worldwide uh, thanks thanks to your uh, uh, thanks to people who embrace uh, that technology how do we really do that we do it through a very very comprehensive platform so uh, at the bottom of the slide you could see different environments where our technology would uh, could be used and we are already protecting a lot of you out there i i could see a few who are already using veeam and protecting workloads in those environments but essentially protection is just part of the puzzle you do protect uh, to be able to recover quickly today i think that's a given unless you do that well you're not you know you're not uh, really delivering value but on top of that the ability to know that what you are really running we saw the data sprawl slide there were saas offerings there were private clouds and public clouds our tools allow you to discover what you're running what is over provisioned and what is under provisioned based on alerts and and monitoring mechanisms could you take actions in terms of saving those resources for yourself and your organization that's where we start delivering value uh, we've seen a uh, few customers uh, realizing value out of the veeam software on day 1 these tools allow you to fund the veeam adoption by giving you enough savings on the first day itself by by showing or by representing that what have you deployed how much of it can be saved and while you save that it could be put back into production delaying your procurement cycles also allowing you to probably move your resources to more critical workloads if they are starved of resources so that's the veeam one piece sorry i, I was not audible yeah okay good okay thank you so uh, veeam one piece allows us to do that protecting once we know what we are running we will be in a much better position to protect it replicate it between data centers to give you highest uh, availability and while we are doing that uh, replication does form the basis of of uh, doing dr but sometimes it gets very confusing that what workload should come up after the other and therefore an orchestration layer is also needed and that's where uh, veeam orchestrator availability orchestrator allows you to pre program or very very smoothly move over your workloads from one data center to another or from your on prem data centers into into the cloud and that's what uh, the orchestrator piece does it goes a little beyond that but by allowing you to build dr plans and these are automated dr plans from your infrastructure any addition or change in the infrastructure we allow you to build or create your dynamic dr plans which uh, kind of keeps you absolutely current and abreast with whatever changes are happening in the infrastructure you know a lot many times it happens that you have uh, put in a practice you have a plan but there are too many changes happening in the environment and the plan becomes outdated orchestrator allows you to keep it alive and and uh, you know help you do a very very uh, comprehensive dr and with all the confidence Uh, not to mention it allows you to present those reports back to the compliance officers and the auditors who come and check well if you have a dr how do i know that this thing will work for you and you could you could actually do some dr tests uh, in your environment as well a uh, quick look at the shared responsibility model uh, this would not be uh, new for many but uh, it's worthwhile spending uh, just 30 seconds on this one although uh, the cloud service provider is going to ensure security of the cloud elements but then when you are hosting your data and your workloads in the cloud the data you know is is the responsibility of the organization which is hosting it in the cloud and therefore protection or or the ability to spring back into business after a corruption or a deletion is the responsibility of the organizations which are hosting with the cloud service provider and therefore the role of data management products like uh, or organizations like uh, veeam quick look at use cases uh, of course uh, all of this technology won't make sense if you're not saving uh, real dollars and and rupees for our customers uh, we you know and in line with what amazon did to the it environment we invest in in protecting our production data and we build these mountains of dead data 
you know we were backing up from production and there was a lot of data sitting there a lot of servers and storage which was bought up front and was just lying there for uh, f you know as an insurance that one fine day you may need these copies back uh, you know for your business and therefore the integration with AWS allows us to allows our customers to really adopt pay as you go models and integration with S3 allowing our backup software production software to really move images into Amazon directly and seamlessly then there is this uh, native backup capability where you have your uh, services from Amazon for example RDS or S3 and you would want to protect those uh, uh, Veeam did uh, acquire a company by the name N2WS and I have a couple of slides on that we allow you to protect your cloud native workloads uh, using the native snapshot capabilities we orchestrate the whole thing allowing you to recover to a point in time uh, and and uh, and also deploy or employ uh, enterprise wide policies uh, while you do so EC2 data protection with Veeam agents um, a lot many times uh, snapshots are confused with application aware backups or protection uh, well the small difference is that you could bring back the whole workload very very quickly but there is uh, more often than not there is a requirement that you would want to bring back a small segment of the workload it could be just a database from the whole database instance it could be a few files not the whole file system and therefore you know there you could deploy agents in your cloud native workloads or your on-prem workloads and yet achieve application aware uh, protection VM allows you to do that now from uh, uh, N2WS the product is called the, the cloud protection manager allows you to or it offers enterprise class data protection for uh, all data and services uh, and in, in AWS leverages the snapshot technologies and what it does it also stretches it across regions and across uh, accounts and this was very interesting you know I, I'm I'm more of an infrastructure guy so for me it is uh, as long as you can get it across to another data center or any other place uh, my job was over but uh, you know come to think of it uh, if you have an Amazon account under which you're operating and you have this thing stretching across two regions if something happens to the account or the user leaves the organization all your DR just comes to a standstill because it was governed by that particular account and therefore it doesn't hurt anyone to have this across uh, the region as well as uh, an AWS account as well so that you can in case somebody hacks into it or leaves or doesn't have the or, or plans to really hurt someone by taking away the account credentials you could recover from another account very very comprehensively strict compliance security standards I think without that we won't be there and N2WS uh, rose to become the the best uh, protection software in uh, Amazon and there are a lot of uh, validations for that so a partner is uh, partner in the data protection space and also essentially uh, you could do snapshots every five minutes and whenever you were to recover you could recover back within 30 seconds so and that's when you restore the snapshot within the region or if you have a copy of that across regions you could recover in that region as well a bit on architecture you have uh, one region leveraging snapshots you could replicate the snapshots very very efficiently uh, utilizing minimal bandwidth and have your workloads available on the other side all of it uh, uh, leveraging native snapshots and enterprise level control so you get to manage all of it uh, from a single console uh, if anyone's interested in a very quick short demo we'll be very happy to take you through at the booth this is very very simple it allows you to configure your policies and protect your workloads uh, I think within 10 minutes of when I when I went through it it didn't take much uh, for me and I'm I'm not very hands-on these days but still it was it was a lot easier than working some of the than working with some of the older classical tools so really cool stuff allows you to quickly deploy your protection strategy in the cloud and then get the best of it uh, and of course uh, in line with the shared responsibility model quick look at customers and partners some of the ones uh, mentioned above uh, you know the IBM's and Capgemini's they use our software for delivering backup as a service and a lot of customers use it through that channel 
and then some of the big names who are Amazon customers, they leverage end to WS protection mechanism for uh, smartly, I would say smartly managing their workloads and yet driving costs down. So VTL, I talked about how do I see, how do we seamlessly integrate into the, the AWS piece. Uh, Cloud backup and DR as service, uh, VTL integration, uh, we, if you are used to taking backups on tapes, I don't know if you still do, but if, uh, you know, if mentally there was this thing which has to go to tape as backup, uh, we would present a VTL to your, to, to the environment and then that would push the data directly into AWS repositories. The ability to backup or protect your IES and SaaS environments, uh, the ability to recover a single file from a, uh, from a wholly protected workload or the VM or the EC2 instance. And of course, uh, cloud, cross cloud data protection. If you wanted to move across cloud environments, you could do that as well using uh, Veeam software. On uh, the VTL integration, uh, yeah, quickly move over to this side. This elaborates it a little better. You have your data center on the on the left and uh, on the right, <laughs> and then you have your AWS, um, you know, cloud uh, subscription. So uh, simply, the VTL presents itself to the Veeam backup and replication repository as a tape repository, and while you are backing up, that tape repository moves it in a very very bandwidth efficient way to uh, the S3 low latency S3 environment and from S3 uh, based on policy it would automatically move to a glacier environment so it is as simple as that these APIs are built into it you just have to use your Amazon accounts to go in and, and and simply open that repository for your Veeam backups to flow into Amazon uh, brings me to my last slide uh, if you are uh, visiting AWS please AWS summit please do come over to the booth uh, there is uh, a one month free trial of the cloud protection manager you would uh, you get to see how this thing works for your ec2 instances or s3 or uh, you know some of the other services and uh, while you do so you get a 250 dollar promotional credit as well for installing uh, that's all i had i i hope i covered that how veeam is really helping customers protect their uh, hybrid workloads both on both on prem data centers and as well as the the uh, aws uh, extended data centers thank you thank you